This is Travel in 10. And now, your host, David Brody. This is Travel in 10, and welcome to California. On this month's show, we're traveling to Los Angeles and Orange County, California to look at three great new boutique hotels and some of the best to see and do on an action-packed, celebrity-filled long weekend down in California. We're going to start off the tour in Hollywood, continue on in Beverly Hills, and then finish things off down on the California coast in Orange County. But first of all, let's look at a bit of where to stay on your trip to Los Angeles. And one of my favorite places has got to be the Standard West Hollywood, a modern boutique hotel that, believe it or not, actually started its life as a retirement home and has recently been bought out by celebrity investors like Leonardo DiCaprio, Cameron Diaz, and Benicio Del Toro and completely transformed. The rooms themselves, although very adequate, are probably not the best feature of the hotel, although one great feature of the rooms is they're very reasonably priced for the caliber of hotel that this is. But it's not the rooms that you come here for. It's really the atmosphere, and you're going to find plenty of it here. From the astroturf surrounded pool, where you'll often find celebrities lounging throughout the day, to the famous Purple Lounge, one of the more popular bars here in Hollywood. They've also got a great restaurant, 24-7, sort of a 50s-style diner, open 24 hours a day, with a menu that features everything from s'mores and pancakes to miso-glazed halibut and champagne, and overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Another great new entry in the boutique category in Los Angeles is the Thompson Beverly Hills. The Thompson Group owns several great boutique hotels around the world, including the landmark Roosevelt Hotel right in the heart of Hollywood. This is actually the original home of the Academy Awards. Um, the Thompson, uh, Beverly Hills, and the Roosevelt that you're seeing here have fantastic rooms that combine modern design together with unique elements. You're going to see in some of the rooms that we're touring here, where you have almost retro type 70s furniture up against modern technology like flat screen televisions and iPod docks. To me, it almost looks like the kind of place you would see in a 1970s James Bond movie with models hanging around, uh, modern design, and uh, you really do see that they went the extra mile in terms of design in this hotel. A lot of unique features that you find right throughout in terms of the, the furniture and decorations throughout. And of course, the best rooms have got to be the suites. And if you're looking to spend a little bit of extra money, um, they have some amazing suites here. The kind of place that if you wanted to host a Hollywood party, this would make a great venue for it. One of the things the hotel is best known for is it's just recently completed above Beverly Hills Club. It's sort of an exclusive uh, club that's only open to hotel guests and members. And uh, even though it's only been open a few weeks now, it's already seen guests come through like David and Victoria Beckham, um, Britney Spears, Matthew Perry, and uh, also sort of famously recently they had the uh, lead singer of Coldplay stop by, who first of all wasn't on the guest list and was at first turned away but later allowed admittance. They've got a great rooftop pool and a great lounge. The third boutique hotel we're going to look at is the London West Hollywood. This is certainly located in a little bit quieter neighborhood and perhaps a little bit more um, sophisticated hotel. Um, again, very uh, boutique style, modern design. And the neat thing here is the hotel itself is a bit of a celebrity. It features the Gordon Ramsay at the London restaurant. Of course, world famous chef Gordon Ramsay, this is the first uh, restaurant that he's opened here in Los Angeles after having shows on both the BBC and the Fox network. And one of his more recent shows, Hell's Kitchen, uh, um, sort of a reality type competition where the winner of the program gets to be one of the new chefs here at the London West Hollywood. We were lucky enough that when we were there, actually, uh, the chef, um, Chef Ramsay, was in doing a photo shoot, stopped by and said hello, seemed like a great guy. Um, he's certainly one of the celebrities here, but the other celebrity is the food, the type of food you'd expect from here. Great fresh food um, with using local ingredients served very well. Another thing the London West Hollywood is known for, as many of the hotels here in, in Los Angeles are known for, is its great rooftop pool. Certainly if you've got some time and you're going to stay at one of these boutique hotels, you should set aside some time to rent one of the cabanas one day and really enjoy some time by the poolside. They are some uh, amazing venues. So what else is there to see and do here in Los Angeles? Well, a good tour is the Kodak Theater, the home of the Academy Awards that you can tour any day after 10 a.m. with free tours running hourly. Right next to it is Groman's Chinese Theater, a place that's famous for movie premieres and also famous for having the uh, hand foot, handprints and footprints of celebrities from around the world. But probably one of our favorite things to do is right across the street from Groman's Chinese Theater, where the Jimmy Kimmel Live show was taping. You can actually get free tickets by going to abc.com um, for the Jimmy Kimmel show, and not only do you get to see the show itself, but one of the great features is he has some excellent musical guests. So not only do you get to see the show itself, but you also get to see a bit of a concert if you happen to pick up 
the free tickets. What else is there to do in Hollywood? Well, of course, there's always the Hollywood Showbiz Star Tours. Sure, they're a bit cheesy and a bit over the top, but it's part of the experience here. And you'll get tidbits of information like this. <laughs> now, the house they tore down here to our left used to belong to Marilyn Monroe and Joe DiMaggio. That was their honeymoon house for about nine months, as long as their marriage lasted. If you've got the time, one of the tours is probably worth checking out. It's certainly part of the Hollywood experience. Another part of it is shopping on Rodeo Drive, which is just a short drive away from uh, any of the three hotels that we've covered early in the, in the earlier in the podcast. And another thing you might want to do is check out some of the great restaurants that are frequented by celebrities in town. Places like Koi, places like Geisha House, places like Social Hollywood, which really add to the whole experience of a Los Angeles weekend. But part of coming down to California is hitting the beach, and some of the best beaches are to be found about an hour and a half away down in Orange County. One of our favorites definitely had to be right here in front of the Ritz-Carlton Laguna Niguel. Really a stunning beach and a stunning hotel which has to have one of the best beachfront locations of any hotel in Southern California. It's definitely a place that you're going to spend a little bit more to stay in but it's definitely worth checking out. Not only do the rooms themselves have a great view but how many uh, gyms can you find in hotels around the world that you can get up watch the sunrise, watch people surfing down below you and have a spectacular view like this while you uh, spend some time in the hotel gym. The other thing that's great here at the Ritz-Carlton Laguna Niguel is some of the restaurants. They've got a great wine bar that features wines from all around California paired together with different foods, which you can sample any evening. And they've also got the great main restaurant here, which as you can see has amazing gigantic bay windows overlooking the beach. Um, another great feature of the hotel is the pool. When you're hanging around at the, the pool bar here, it really feels as though you're down at a luxury resort in the Caribbean or somewhere far away. It doesn't feel like you're just an hour and a half from downtown Los Angeles. You do really get a resort feel staying here at the hotel. Now, what else is there to do here in Orange County? Well, of course, it's known for surfing, one of the better surf spots uh, in the United States. And you're also just a short drive away from the happiest place on Earth, from Disneyland. And if you're coming down, it's definitely worth checking Disneyland out. Of course, Disneyland is known for all the spectacular thrill rides that they've got, everything from Pirates of the Caribbean on the Disneyland side to a new ride called Soaring Over California on the California Adventure side of the park. It's definitely a place where you're going to go want to spend some time. It's not just rides, there's things for almost anyone from the shows that they have, different activities. And one of the things that we found surprising was we actually found a really good restaurant there as well. In the uh, California Adventure Park, they have a sort of mock winery with a restaurant called the Vintage Room featuring California wines and great California cuisine. Certainly not the sort of thing we expected to find at Disneyland, but well worth checking out. So that's it for our brief tour of Los Angeles today. Hopefully it gives you some great suggestions on places to stay and things to do on a tour of Los Angeles and Southern California. And hope you've enjoyed today's Travel in 10 podcast. Thanks for listening to the Travel in 10 podcast. Please email any questions, comments, or suggestions you have to travelin10 at gmail.com. This has been a presentation of Travel in 10.